Yo, Brown Brownie here. Let's talk audio real quick. It is by far one of the most important things for a content creator to keep in mind. Good or bad audio will make or break you. It's also one of the most complicated and potentially tedious things to set up. Companies like Beacon and Roadcaster have aimed to make that process significantly easier with devices like the Beacon Mix and Create or the Roadcaster Duo and Pro lineup. And I definitely think that they've succeeded. The setup is just not always as intuitive as we would like it to be. So let's walk through how to get your audio working on Meld if you're using one of these devices. In this case, it'll be the Beacon Mix and Create because it's the one that I currently own. Once I get my hands on a Roadcaster device, I'll make another one of these videos. Both of them do work pretty much the same fundamental way. Their setup and software is just a tiny bit different. This video will also be focusing on a single PC use case. Double PC setups aren't all that difficult, but you do need some additional hardware, so maybe Meld will cover that in a dedicated video in the future. Before we dive in, however, we have to define three key terms. One is routing. This is where your audio comes from and where it goes. Mixing, this is simply adjusting the volume of your individual sources. You're typically doing this with the device that you bought. And then output signals, this is where your audio will end up at. With that taken care of, we can head over to the Beacon software and get started. Once you're in the Beacon software, this is what your screen will look like. An important thing to note is that when you plug in the Beacon Mix and Create, it automatically does some work behind the scenes and makes sure that your PC sound devices are set up properly. So you don't really have to mess with your sound settings at all. Also, if you have a Beacon microphone, it will be automatically detected in the mic channel. Just make sure that you EQ it to get it sounding real nice and crispy. You can select other microphones connected to your computer on the list below the faders as well. You just won't be able to EQ them from the Beacon software. There's a couple of important things to look at here. These are all of your channels. This is the result of that routing that I mentioned earlier. Beacon separated all of your audio sources and directed them to the software so that you could control them. You can do it through the software by clicking and dragging or through the knobs in your mix and create itself. This is what we refer to as mixing. As you can see, when I move this knob, you're seeing that the volume on my music source is changing. You can also drag and drop your sources to a specific channel. So if you're running Spotify from Chrome, it'll show up on your browser source. But if you want to control it on the music tab, you can do that. Just drag it over there. Now let's look at this little segment here, the personal and audience mix. The Beacon creates two mixes, your personal mix, which is what you're hearing on your headphones or monitor, and you will probably be the only one listening to this mix. You can set your playback devices on those two drop-down menus and switch between them with that little switch or by holding down any of your knobs in the mix and create itself. And then your audience mix, which is what will be broadcasted into your stream once you set it up in mount. Your personal and audience mix are both output signals, and it's what other softwares grab in order to play back your audio once it's been mixed. You'll notice that each channel has two faders. The one with the little dude is your personal mix, and the one on the right is what your audience will be listening to. By default, they move together whenever you do a volume adjustment, but you can link them and unlink them here. If you unlink them, you can control each mix individually. That's useful when you want to listen to something that you don't want your audience to hear. If you want to preview what your audience will be listening to, just click this icon here to turn that mix into the active mix in your headphones, and you'll hear whatever it is that your audience is going to hear when you're live on stream. Just make sure that you change it back. Otherwise, you might hear your own voice through your headphones, and it'll get really annoying. This is the really important thing about Beacon. Over here, where it says audience mix, you want to leave that as audience mix. That will be the name of the audio output we'll select over a meld when we're setting that up. And then you're pretty much done. Set everything to the volumes that you want and keep in mind that you can change these volumes on the fly. It's what makes little devices like these so powerful. If your friends are being really loud in Discord, turn them down. If your music is too quiet, give it a little bump and you never have to leave whatever you're doing on your computer. It has been the single best investment that I've made for my streams. Now, the last setting that you'll absolutely want to turn on before moving on to Meld is this guy. This will make sure that if for some reason your device configuration ever breaks, Beacon will just fix it for you. Just turn it on and never worry if your default devices or playback devices are set correctly. Now, let's get your audio into mount. It will literally blow your mind how easy it is to get your audio into meld when you're using the mix and create. Before I showed you what to do, I wanna say that at this point, it might be really tempting to add each individual source manually into meld but I promise you that that will lead to audio duplication issues and a bit of a headache when you want to change your volume. 
The easiest and best way to get this set up is simply by doing this. You simply add an audio source and in the drop down menu at the bottom, click and select audience mix. That's it. That's all that you have to do. As long as your beacon settings are correct, Meld will just grab this one audio source and you'll have full control of your audio with the mix and create. It's super easy. We're done. All of your PC audio is now ready for broadcast and it took maybe 10 minutes. It's crazy. Now, as a bonus bit of setup, if you want to play music, but you don't want it to show up on your VODs for copyright issues, let me show you how. You're going to add a new audio source and from the drop down menu, select your music source. And then you click on this little button to exclude it from the VOD. Then we have to go back to Beacon and click where it says routing table. I briefly mentioned routing before. This is how Beacon knows what audio sources to send where. Just find in the row that says audience mix and then the Spotify or music column and click it. Now Beacon will exclude the music from your audience mix so that it's just playing through that VOD excluded source in Meld. But you can still hear it in your personal mix if you want to. The only caveat to this is that you're not able to control the volume of the music track for your audience through Beacon when you do this. You do have to go through Meld in order to adjust the volume for the audience. But in my opinion, that's not a bad trade-off to keep your VOD safe from copyright issues. And now we're fully done. That's it. Go stream. And if you run into any issues, hop into the Meld Discord. Our team and the community is always happy to help you get set up.